Hey guys, I am back today and I'm going to take it way back to the basics of babysitting. And as you guys can read from the title below, this is how to make a resume. So I'm just going to get right to it. So the first thing is a resume is a sheet of paper that tells clients what your experience is and a little bit about you. So I will show you guys my document that I have and I will walk you through some key tips, um, just things that should be on your resume and all that good stuff. Okay? Alright, so what you can do is you can open a Word document if you don't like any of the templates that are out there online or a Google Doc, same thing. And you want to start from scratch. So I'm looking over here because my document is over here. So now I will show you guys what my document looks like. All my private information is blocked out so we don't have to worry about that. Alright guys, this is probably going to get really bright because it needs the camera needs to focus on my screen so I apologize in advance but it should only take a second. So I'm going to take you guys off the tripod and show you guys this document. Okay? Alright. It's gonna probably get bright right now. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Alright, so the first thing you can see here is I have my name on my services right here. It is centered. It's not too big. What font size is it? It's at a 20. So it's not too big. It's not in your face. And the font is not too fancy where people can't read it. I think it's actually set on the default one, which it is. So that should be at the top of your document and it should be centered. The next little section I have, if you guys can read, is an about me section. So um, in the part that's blacked out here, I have my age and where I go to school. Um, just a little bit about my background. Um, I've been babysitting since I was 12. I'm actually no longer babysitting right now because of college, so whatever. This is just for you guys to look at, and yeah. So, um, it also says I have worked at a daycare with infants and toddlers for two years or at the age of 14. Um, obviously I love working with kids. I don't think I would be doing this if I didn't. Um, it also says I have babysat many kids and helped with Sunday school teaching first graders. Uh, points out my training, which it gets more in depth with in the training section of this. Um, also says I have a license. That's a really good thing to point out if you're babysitting and you're old enough to have a license. Uh, another key tip is parents love to hear about your school life so really make sure you have that in the about section of your document. As you guys can see it says I'm an AB honor roll student. Parents love love to hear about that stuff and they love to hear about what you participate in with the school. If it's sports, if it's clubs, whatever it may be. Parents love this and that is my first key for you guys. So as you guys can see it says right here I am an AB honor roll student and participate in a lot of school activi activities such as band and drama club. I have been on drama club committee and I have underlined these activities do affect my availability during the school year so make sure that if you guys are busy like me as far as that goes as far as school goes if you know you have other commitments because you know sports are gone on weekends whatever make sure people do know um, that it will trigger <laughs> I guess when you are available so the next section I have, mine is super short and simple to be completely honest. So the next section I have is my training and this is super important. And I think I've done a video on training. If so, that will be in the description below. You can check out that video. If not, 
that will be next week's video. Anyways, so it says I am baby babysitting certified and CPR certified in infants, adults, and children. So that is definitely a main thing you want to point out in your resume. Um, I also know the proper food amounts. Children should eat proper diaper changing processes um, and safety hazards for all children. I sh could have add more to this, <laughs> but I was young at the time, so I didn't have too much experience. Uh, it also says what I'm certified under. Um, it's right here. CCR and R. That's an online course that I had to take for my job that I'm certified under. Now, another big tip is to have a mission statement. I feel like this really grabs parents. So, just an example, what mine says is, my saying for my services is, I promise to love and care, guide, and teach your children. It is my mission to keep your pets and kids safe. I will be a second parent to your family. So, I did add pets in here because uh, pets are just as important as kids, uh, especially if that family has pets. And if you have pets, you probably already know that. So, and then last but not least, I have my rate. Some people have different rates. Um, some people have, I think, what's normal up here is $10 an hour plus two more dollars for extra kids. Um, $10 an hour for the first kid and then like two dollars for the second kid I don't really know but mine's just straightforward it's ten dollars per hour kids are not included that will be expensive like how many kids that would get really expensive um, and then it does say I am flexible to work with money if there is an issue um, please keep in mind with rates that not everybody is going to you know be able to afford your rates if you're kind of really struggling and you really do want the money I would say you know stick to your guns know your worth that's a really good tip that somebody had actually told me is charge how much you are worth and I think that it's so true however you know do keep in mind if people can't pay that much you should should be flexible with it but also not too flexible where you're not getting enough money for the hours you're working if that makes sense so that is just my resume you guys um really simple like i said the text is readable it's not fancy it's not in your face um it has quite a bit of information about me about my training what my experience is, and all that good stuff. So if you guys have any more um, things to add to your resume that you think are really good, please, by all means, leave them in the comments below. And please like this video. Uh, let's me know that you guys are enjoying my babysitting videos. And please subscribe below and turn on that bell for notifications when I post and I hope you all have an amazing day and a great school year. Please let me know if there are any videos that you want me to do. Either babysitting, acting, or now I'm thinking about doing school advice videos. Because I think that's kind of important. And yeah, so please let me know down below what you guys think. And I love you guys to the moon and back to infinity and beyond. And I will see you guys next weekend. Peace.